my connection to Palestine came through Palestinians and hearing their stories. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a motivational, mind-boggling and totally unique episode frankly. When I saw this story, you know what? There's not that many stories that makes the big dog stand up and take notice. But this story right here, it took me a while to even digest it. Alright, so Mahir Al-Akhras is a Palestinian individual who was locked up unjustly by the Israeli authorities and my man right here, listen to me, my guy right here went on a hunger strike. Now, I don't know about you, but the relationship me and food have is very unique, even though I'm pretty much skin and bones. If I go one day without food, mate, this guy went on a 104 day hunger strike. Whoa, 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 hold, hold up, time out, time out, flag on the plate, traveling, all sides clicking, hold up. And his hunger strike was for being locked up illegally by the Israeli authorities. Now they've cooked up some weird law called administrative detention, which just means that the Israeli authorities can lock you up for no reason for up to one year. I mean the patience, the belief, the resolve this individual showed against injustice and the opposition that he is doing this against is not just any opposition, yeah? It's a military might. Israel is militarily, technologically a very strong unit to such a degree that even the Arab leaders are bowing at their feet. And this individual is taking them all on. And in the end, my guy wins. He just ate, I think about a day or two ago, when they, they promised him release towards the end of this month. And there are, I think according to the TRT, there's about 35 other individuals that have been kept under administrative detention. And this guy right here had the guts. I, I don't know what, I, how, how, what pushes you? day by day to go on with the hunger strike. I, I, I think we should celebrate this individual, yeah? And if human rights and if courage was something that these nations that we live in really looked up to, they'd be celebrating the achievement of this individual as well. And this nation that does administrative detention, I mean what law, what order, what human rights are actually taking place in this nation? A few days ago under the guise of the US elections, the uh, Israelis, I think they flattened 80 houses. Ms. Heller reminded all parties that the extensive destruction of properties and the forcible transfer of protected people in an occupied territory are brave breaches of the fourth Geneva Convention. Anytime stuff like this happens, you'll get the UK US leaders saying, yep, it's wrong. The use of live fire and the resulting loss of life is deeply troubling. We urge Israel to show restraint. But if you look at the funding, Israel gets regular funding from the US and the UK. So these countries are complicit. You're a fraud. You're a fraud. So is it any wonder that anybody with a heart supports the Palestinian cause? And that's why the actor who plays the Hulk in the Avengers, he also supports the Palestinian cause as well. My connection to Palest Palestine came through Palestinians and hearing their stories. And then watching, you know, this 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 um, asymmetrical warfare being being uh, acted upon them, and violence being acted upon them, and and who pays the price is the citizenry, and and there's no reason that an ally of America should be um, 
should not be held uh, to the same standards that we would any other nation in the world, especially an ally. And what I see there is wrong. And, um, and, and I spoke out about it. And you know what? I, I was called an anti-Semite about it. And the fact that, that so many people will take it to that extreme, when you're talking about that kind of inequality, that kind of oppression, that kind of uh, apartheid, really. And what's worrying is the new president-elect of the US said this. Were I a Jew, I would be a Zionist. And my father pointed out to me, I did not need to be a Jew to be a Zionist. For I am. Israel is essential to the security of Jews worldwide. But maybe he's changed. That is a statement that he has made. Maybe when he comes into the position that he's in, he will change. And seeing stuff like this should make us grateful, alhamdulillah, for the luxuries that Allah has given us here, but should also give us a sense of responsibility that we have a good internet connection and technology and mashallah good education and we should use that to speak against injustices and support our brothers and sisters that are in compromising situations like this and we should use whatever Allah has blessed us with to help those that are less fortunate. It doesn't have to be just charity, it could just be you utilizing and using your social media to do something positive because think about it you could have been born born in that area yeah just because you're born here and you and I didn't get to choose where we're born who our families are so may Allah give us the ability to take on board this responsibility and duty remember with great power comes great responsibility May Allah bless our Palestinian brothers and sisters and give them resolve and may Allah be pleased with them, assist them and change their hardship into ease. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.